Today we're going to talk about how to roast a chicken breast. Now this is a boneless breast and a little bit of the wing bone on. What's called an airline chicken breast. I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends that, uh, that are not cooks, that uh, get intimidated by chicken. So I wanted to do a real simple recipe today. A little bit of salt and pepper on each side. And then when I mean simple, I mean very simple. I have a little bit of olive oil on low. I'm going to wait until it just has a very light smoke to it. Now, a lot of people will tell you not to cook with extra virgin olive oil, and a lot of times I'll agree with that. But sometimes, with, with something like this, I actually do like the flavor of the extra virgin olive oil that it imparts into the skin. Leave the skin on, especially a nice farm chicken like this. You know, the skin is really gonna be amazing on this piece of chicken, and you wanna, you wanna preserve that. Okay, now you'll notice there's a little bit of smoke gently coming off this pan. We don't want to get it too hot. If it's really billowing smoke, you don't want to put it in. But just a nice, gentle like this. And the way we like to put this in is kind of drag the tail through like, like this and set it in there and just gently shake it so that it's, when it's hot like that, it'll keep the chicken moving around. If you put chicken in a cold pan like that, it'll stick and it's not going to come out very nice. It's going to stay in here just so we start to see a little bit of brown coming up on the sides. Cook it all with the skin side down because the way to keep your chicken breast nice and moist when you cook it is to use that skin on the bottom to protect it from the direct heat. I start out with a medium high heat and after it gets going, I'll turn it down just a little bit. But the main thing I'm looking for is the rate of smoke coming off the pan. And that's how you can tell without flipping this over how it's browning. Don't move it. We got a little white showing up. You see a little brown on this skin over here. So that to me means that it's time to put this into the oven. And I have this oven at 450 degrees, so we wanna cook it kinda of hot. Okay, so our chicken now has been in about 10 minutes, and you can see that how it's, uh, it looks a little raw still, just slightly, which is what you want. Um, because what we're gonna do is that this is ready, and we're gonna gently pull this up, and we're gonna flip it over in the pan. And look at that. Look at that, perfect. So this pan, the residual heat in it, is gonna finish this off to not overcook it and dry it out. I have a couple of things here for my garden. I always grow broccoli, and if you let it go to seed, it grows these amazing like little flowers on here, and these things are real tender and just absolutely delicious. And also a little bit of arugula from my garden. And I'm just gonna drizzle some extra virgin olive oil on it, sea salt, and this is gonna make a really delicious, just simple, absolutely great dinner. So, here we go. 